हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इंग्लिश ग्रामर चैप्टर फाइव वर्ब प्रेजेंटेंस वर्ब्स प्रेजेंटेंस इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस सिंपल प्रेजेंटेंस प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टुडे वी विल टेक द सिंपल प्रेजेंटेंस In this simple present tense, <clears throat> is used to talk habits and routines. It talks permanent situations, facts, and states. Structure to make simple present tense is subject plus verb or verb plus s e s or i e s. subject plus don't or doesn't plus verb as a negative sentence these are the when we will make with this structure it is affirmative sentence we will when we will make with this this is the negative and when we will make the sentence with a do or does plus subject plus verb that is the interrogative sentence now first of all we will talk here regarding the first affirmative sentences when we will make we have to take the subject plus verb and that verbs may be s e s or i e s so see here if the subject is i you we they those men my friends you can see here we are using everywhere verb means the base form of the verb what we are using the base form of the verb means when we are talking with the plural noun when we are talking about the plural noun the base form always with the the base form of the verb should be when we are talking regarding he she it the man menu means when we are talking about the singular noun then the base form of the verb adds s the base form of the verbs adds what s here now with this little examples i am showing here see he read or reads a lot of books which one is correct with the singular we have to s we have to add verbs base form with the s so here reads is the correct many children play plays baseball which one is right the play is right because here we are talking regarding the plural noun she go or goes to college singular noun that's why here goes we live or lives together plural noun that's why here we are using live now second structure subject plus don't or doesn't plus verb is a negative sentence we will make with the help of this so here also the similar with i you we they my friends we have to use don't he she it or sumit like a singular noun we have to use doesn't with related with this structure i am explaining here little examples he that is the singular so we are using here doesn't see here he means doesn't we have to use doesn't reads a lot of books many children that is the plural when we are talking the plural noun we have to use don't play baseball she don't goes to college here we are keeping don't don't is a wrong because you can see here with she what we have to use we have to use doesn't so you have to write she doesn't or does not goes to college 
here also you can see v is a plural noun so here we have to use with v what we have to use don't so this doesn't is a wrong here we have to keep here don't we don't live together now another last one do or does plus subject plus verb makes a interrogative one now see here making questions how you have to make i look good in this shirt what your question should be do i look good in this shirt keep it in your mind students when you are making a question your sentence completed with question mark suppose you have write the correct sentence but if you will forgot to give the question mark then definitely in exam you have lose your marks teacher teacher will not give you the full marks for that if you are making a question it is very very important that you have to give a question mark at the last now see next he walk to school this is the singular noun so we have here does does he walk to school you speak english singular this is the plural so this is the plural noun but here for this you have to use for you you have to use what see here for you you have to use do what do you have to use do so do you speak english they eat meat they also the plural noun explains that's why do they eat meat and see everywhere i am completed the sentence with the question mark it is very very important to keeping the question marks at the last when you are asking the questions next this cell phone have a camera the question how you have to arise does this cell phone have a camera on the basis of this explanation you have to complete page number 36 37 38 and 38s up to question number 5 only next day we will discuss another topic from this chapter that is the present continuous tense till then goodbye